to two artists of reddit. What ideas have you said no to? I was in a shop when a well dressed man came in explaining how his idea kept getting rejected and asking if an artist here might do it. His idea? A nigger hanging from a tree. He was rejected and asked to leave. Yeah no I always wonder where my local skinheads get their swastikas and shit done. Like. Do they have a specific guy they all go to or did they just buy a needle and learn to do it themselves? I've seen Nazi tattoos that are pretty goddamn elaborate. Doesn't seem like a prison job. I asked a tattooist about this and was told that some shops do Nazi shit. But then you get the reputation for being the shop that does Nazi shit meaning your clientele shift to that demographic. Otherwise it's mainly prison. Gangs or kitchen wizards. A swastika isn't a hard design. But my friend has seen lots of cover ups where the tattooist couldn't get it right after a couple of tries. So much for the master race. I recently went to a shop with a design I had been working on for about 5 years. I absolutely loved it. It was insanely intricate and very personalized to me. Got shot down immediately. Just shut right down. The artist then ran down an itemized list of reasons why my tattoo wouldn't work the way I wanted. It totally burst my bubble. However. Then he worked with me for 1-2 hours figuring out how we could express the exact same thing in a different way which would look a lot better as a tattoo. Getting it next week. So much respect for tattoo artists. Can we see your original design and your current one? Not a tattoo artist. But I witnessed this happen to my friend. We were 20 stroke 21 at the time. And she decided she wanted sex. In a huge graffiti script on her lower hip. Right by her crotch. We went to this sketchy local shop. And the artist said that there's no way she wouldn't regret that. And even if she got it done by another shop in the area she'd never be welcome in his shop again. But 5 years later I still silently thank that guy for saying no to that horrible idea. Customer came in wanting tattoos on her face in the area an American football player would wear eye black. She had it all drawn out in her notebook from NA. The kicker is she wanted a series of symbols across both cheeks which included, but wasn't limited to, a swastika. A star of David. Halley's Comet. The number 23 but the two needs to look like a Jewish person's nose and a bunch of other symbols. It's numbers and letters. She seemed high or otherwise not in her right mind also. We told her we didn't think it was a good idea to do it at which point she offered to pay us and drugs and or sexual favors. Needless to say she didn't get tattooed. One of my tattoo artists says he gets an awkward amount of requests for penis tattoos. He usually takes it as a joke but he will quote them a super high price which deterred them percent 99.99 of the time. The other percent point zero one percent? A guy came in and wanted a dragon tattooed on his coke. Artist quoted him like 2 grand. Dude actually paid it and now has a dragon tattoo on his coke. Although my artist said that would be the first and last time he would ever do a penis tattoo. Not cause it's a penis. Just cause he said it was a beach to do. He still gives people ridiculously high quotes for them just for shits and giggles. Is this the puff the magic dragon tattoo? That's some amazing work. I would link it. But I'm at work the IT sensors would have a shit himahaj if they check my history. IT sensor sounds like the worst job ever. Hi. I'm here to make sure you have no fun whatsoever at your job. Draw dolphin on my dong. He would probably say something like. Suck on my blowhole. I imagine his dong would sound more like eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
making sure to bring up every reason why this is stupid before inking a crude set of black lines and a red arrow on his left cheek. Kid leaves and thanks us for the time. Since he was technically barging in on my appointment. Three more young men came asking for the same as tattoo about an hour after he'd submitted his picture to their group chat. We denied the subsequent three and told them the location of another shop and ended up locking the front half and making it seem closed so we could continue my session uninterrupted. T fun night. Though. Lol at he's going into the army anyways. One of the first things you have to do when you get to basic training is show your instructor all your tattoos. T I think his thought process was some sort of backwater this will prevent butt rape logic. Artist refuses to do Jagalo tattoos on anyone. She finds the culture to be obnoxious and will tell you how stupid it is. She also won't do a neck unless you are completely out of room on your arms. I kind of agree with the neck tat viewpoint. I have over 30 with both arms almost covered. My calves both have full pieces. And a few on the sides of my legs and zero neck, hand, or face tats. You should be able to cover them if need be and most neck tats can be difficult to cover. On top of that IDK if if ever really seen any sort of classy neck tat. Usually trashy. One of my buddy's ex-girlfriends wanted doll face on her knuckles. No artist would do it because she had one small tattoo on her upper arm. One shop finally agreed. It wanted like $300 which I suppose was just to deter her. And it worked. I have an F hole, not even that big. And just an outline, on each side of my neck. I wouldn't say it's classy. But it's pretty unoffensive. It did cost me a job at Jimmy John's when I was younger though. What kind of establishment puts out help wanted ads with rockstars wanted as the header? Then tells you a musical related tattoo is a deal breaker? Wish someone said no to this. Metro Co UK link. He's tattooed his name on 39 previous girlfriends. And he's only 23 years old. That guy is a possessive nutcase. Why would anyone date him? I love chickens. Not a tattoo artist but rather just an overhearer of a conversation. Although I'm anticipating, hoping, she got a rejection from most places she tried. Harry Potter stuff's cool right now and I'm pretty into owls so I'm gonna get a big duck off owl on my snatch. Like an owl face kitten with the wings down the inside of my legs. So when I spread my legs beach looks like it's squawking. Girl on bus. Goddamn this gave me a good chuckle. Now I'm going to be at work thinking of a squawking owl snatch and giggling like a madman. Not my story but one I heard while getting a tattoo. Young kid comes in with his buddies. Wants a tattoo of a penis. Except it's that Indian elephant god with six arms. But he wants a god to be a penis with six penis arms. A penis trunk and a penis. Tattoo artist said he had a good chuckle and seriously considered doing it. Even so far as to start sketching it but as soon as he'd start drawing he would either laugh or come to his senses. Eventually decided that he'd found the limit of his stupidity. I know girl who got a unicorn tattooed on her and the horn was a penis. To be completely specific it was my ex's penis too. She brought stuff to these guys all time time and hung out all the time wanting to be their friends and they were always so mean to her and talked shit behind her back. I felt bad for her. I have only refused two tattoos in the time I was tattooing. Both were for names of boyfriends. Nope. Will never tattoo a name on anyone. Ever. Edit. I will never tattoo the name of a person with whom the nature of the bearer of the tattoo's relationship will never change. What about for a deceased relative? A good rule of thumb for name tattoos is. Is this person deceased? Will they be able to ruin the relationship I have with them? Making me regret this tattoo? My husband is a tattoo artist and said no to tattooing a Hershey kiss on the head of a man's penis. I squirm just thinking of the pain. Seriously. My non-existent wiener hurts. Not an artist. But covered with ink. My artist won't do Nazi shit. Face tats. Back of hand tats. Or tats that ensure you're ducked for life should you ever decide to take a job that withholds taxes. I come in for a tattoo appointment once a day and my artist is working on a swastika tattoo on this little wannabe skinhead looking dude. I knew the artist well. 
and we go out for a smoke after dude leaves. And I ask if tattooing that hateful shit bothers him. No he says. And I'll tell you why. Because one day. In 20 years that racist Dumbass mother ducker is gonna be laying in bed and it'll hit him. He got that shit tattooed on him by a Mexican. And he sounded so proud to ruin this dude's future day. It still makes me laugh. But isn't that Aryan Brotherhood prison gang accepting Mexicans now? I remember reading a news story to that effect. Not an artist but from one. After American History X movie. I've never seen it though. Came out and became popular there was an odd surge in people under 25 looking to get the swastika tattooed on their chest much like a character from the movie. This was a no from him. I guess those people didn't see the movie either. I was watching American History X and I loved it so much I ran down here to get a tattoo before I could finish the movie. This dude wanted me to tattoo blackface on his face. I talked him out of it. I told him to try wearing blackface makeup for a while and if he liked it he could come back. Never saw him again. You just didn't recognize him. He's black now. That's probably because he's dead now. Was in a tattoo shop while a mate of mine was getting something done. I was just there to hang out I guess. They had loads of copies of the chap magazine. Which I like so I was just reading away in the front of shop. Anyway a couple walks in. Both probably about 18. They're not very intelligent. You can tell this from their general way of speaking. Anyway. The male nudges the girl to the counter and says what did you want to get? And she says I'd like to get the name Ricky on my hand. Although she pronounced it Ricky and the tattoo guy at the counter just basically says do you have any other tattoos at all? And she says no and he just tells her well we don't usually do hands unless the client is very tattooed anyway as it's such a visible spot. I think it was also due to it being a really stupid idea anyway though. This is a common one. I am not a tattoo artist but have several tattoos. And a tattoo artist ex. I have heard many artists tell potential clients that they don't tattoo hands if the client has no tattoos. The one exception I've witnessed is an older lady, late 60s early 70s, who wanted a breast cancer ribbon after her recovery. The artist explained that hands were highly visible and recommended she get her wrist done instead so she could cover it if she wanted. She simply stated that she knew it would be visible and that's why she wanted it there. They came to an agreement after talking a while and he realized she had put a lot of thought into placement and she had a list of reasons for the placement. She always wears long sleeves. She's retired. ETC. While I was getting a tattoo. The artist told me this story of his. Guy comes literally running into the shop guy. Hey I need a tattoo right now. The pigs are after me it's gotta be now I can pay for it artist. What can I do for you? G. I won't duck the police across both of my knuckles A. Eh? Yo I'm not doing that mate no way guy pauses and thinks for 10 seconds G. Right okay how about a ganja leaf and a smiley face? A. Yo okay I can do that. How are you gonna fit that many letters on his knuckles? How many fingers does this guy have? He probably wanted duck cops. I was in a tattoo shop with a friend. When a young couple walked in holding hands. Looking all of 18 or so. They walked up to the counter where the huge guy running the shop was slowly paging through a magazine. Without looking up from his magazine or changing his expression. He muttered a disinterested. Dot. Help you? Yeah. The girl says. I want to get a tattoo on my lower back that says property of Buckley in all capital letters. A few seconds went by while shop guy gave zero reaction. Ever so slowly. He closed the magazine and set it on the counter. You could almost hear the gears grinding in his neck as he slowly swiveled his head to look at her. After a couple blinks. He turned his head to look at the guy. Up and down. Turning back to her and gesturing with a thumb. He asked. And this winner right here. This is Barkley? Why yeah. She responded. He picked his magazine back up. Flipped it open. Went back to reading it. And said. Yeah. We're not gonna do that. Have a nice night. That is hilarious. I have a similar story as a bystander. I was waiting for my artist to set up for my appointment when this sort of crusty. 
Long haired gentleman walks in. He's explaining proudly to the guy at the counter that he's sober and wants a sobriety tattoo to commemorate his achievement. The tattoo guy says. That's awesome man. How long have you been clean? Going on 6 days now. He replied. The guy behind the counter gave the most amused chuckle. Then told him to come back in 6 months to a year and they'd talk about it. That was dongish of the guy to laugh at him. Everyone's got to start somewhere. And 6 days is still an achievement. The tattoo artist. But this one time this guy said no to my Harry Potter themed tattoo because he believed this shit is satanic. Or something. It was just a cute golden snitch. Got it done somewhere else. Was it the Westboro Baptist tattoo shop? Not tattoo artist blah blah blah. A friend of mine had a guy come in who wanted an arrow pointing to his dong. Simple right? Here's the kicker. He wanted the arrow labeled AIDS dispenser. If I were a tattoo artist I would have done it so that way future partners of this guy would know what they are getting into. Not the artist. But I was being tattooed by him when it happened. A woman came in and showed him a picture. Asking if he could do it. He's like nah. We don't do that here. And handed the photo back. Right away she raises her voice. Asking what racial background he is. He was white. And he's like it doesn't matter. We don't do that here. So she left. He told me it was some swastika design and added that you can only get that type of thing done in prison. Lol. I don't do anything that won't heal well. Watercolor style tattoos. Specifically. Pictures that people post to Instagram and Pinterest have just been done. They look like shit after they heal and even worse 3 years later. I take pride in doing clean. Well saturated but airy tattoos. Black. Color. Or black and gray. And a little bit of skin for breathing room. There is a reason traditional Japanese tattooing has been around so long. It never ages. Wait. What? Why don't watercolor tattoos heal well? I have a watercolor moon on my arm and it's been there for almost 3 years and still looks great. Imo. Whether or not a watercolor style piece heals well has everything to do with how the artist approaches the piece. Most people who don't really know what they're doing, in this style, end up trying to wash, meaning to thin an ink with water, the ink into the skin in several light layers to mimic a little watercolor effect. Which ends up diluting the pigment and or causing too much trauma. Leading to a poor heel. If, on the other hand, you have somebody who understands the actual color theory behind a solid watercolor piece, then they're going to approach it like any other color tattoo. Mixing pigments at full strength. Using darker colors as a foundation. This way the skin will be sufficiently saturated. With nice contrast. And minimal trauma leading to no more color loss than any other style of tattooing. Source. I'm also a tattoo artist. Best comment of the day. I went to get my first tattoo a week or two after losing my first child. Wanted her name, and when I told the dude he said that he didn't do names. I broke down on my way out of the shop and he called me back inside and gave me the most gorgeous tattoo ever, and I'll forever be thankful for that guy, because that tattoo really helped me heal. Going back to that guy soon.